Nexus. Matt, let's go have a chat to you. Let's have a chat about Micro Macro. So, yeah, so this is a game that um, I think a couple of us have played. Not just Damon, yes. but I think... Um, yeah. I've played the first mission. I haven't, it? Play, I haven't and, played it at all. And Ralph was ch- chatting about it as well. Yes. I don't know if if, um, um, if Blake has played it. But um, it was up on the shelf at, uh, at Zing for, I don't know, 20 bucks or something the other day. And my birthday last month, so I treated myself to a new game. Um, I really enjoy this. I don't know if it actually, once again... And maybe we've got maybe this is the theme of this edition of the podcast. I don't know if it strictly is a board game, considering it's a a zero piece of paper. How dare you mock the twenty twenty one Spiel the Jaris winner with well, not a board game? Uh, it's it's it, it is a fair call though because no, I it's, know, I is know. it a game? And, yeah. and it's not even a. There's no competition to it. It's it's you know everyone working at the same pace with magnifying glasses well, around an enormous is, where's Wally kind of picture. I I, I I don't know. So the way we played it with my family, maybe not the last time or the time before. Now I will say adult members of the family. Just to be clear, no no children were involved. We made it a race. Whoever didn't find it had to take a shot. We okay. Look, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, look, I can see that. All right, I should explain what that. Yeah, is. look, look, right. look for anyone who doesn't know what micro macro is. Let's actually explain what it is first, yeah, so they get an true. idea of why. So it's a, we're, we're a giant, a giant piece of paper. I it's think like it is, an, I think it's like it is, an A zero. Yeah, I think it's yeah. A one or A zero. Uh, yeah, I think it's A zero. It's one um, bigger than an A one. But um, and it's a giant, almost where's Wally esque kind of picture, all in black and white. So it's a, it's a, a, a um, massive town. Yeah, it's a um, pen line drawn. Um, image of a town in what's that? What's that? That that um, aspect? Oh, uh, isometric, 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 isometric aspect. aspect. Yeah. Um, and you get given a series of mysteries to solve, where you've got to find certain people and then trace their movements back, and then judge what actually has happened in the history of yeah. uh, this crime. Or you start at the beginning of something and follow it to the next step and. And unravel the crime as it um, as it's progressing. It was a lot of fun. I think we've played now. We did five or six missions. Myself and mum and dad and my sister. Um, a couple of them are a little bit with an adult bent, I suppose. It's not. It's it's not rude, but it's you know. Well, like, no, a couple the, of them the, are a bit. The the name of it is Micro Macro Crime City. Like it is yeah. like it, you are. It, it's you a are, detective thing, and there's yeah. murder cases. Yeah. But they're you know little peanut people. They're not. It's not a not a very well drawn. There's, there's also no there's guts also, and viscera. There's also no like color, that. so it's not as if you see right. gore. You yeah. do see yeah. little things. Um, I will say that. So what we'll to kind of bring it back to what we we're talking at the start, which is that the question of is this a game, which is it is very reminiscent of like a Where's Wally book. Mm. But I would argue that there are some games out there that are starting to go down this. Well, what is actually a board game? Is it a competitive well, okay, so here's one, thing, right? or is it more of a? Are like the Murder a, Night mysteries that you could buy off the shelf those boxing? Is that a board game? No, I wouldn't call it a board game. No, I'd call it a night. I'd call it a night experience. And also, the reason why I'd also say it's not a game is because there is no actual like. What like, about the? There's no like. There's no choices to be made. It's just like yeah. it, it, when. When the appropriate trigger has been said, then you have to then give the appropriate response based on your card. That's what the Murder Night Mysteries yeah. is. Whereas this one here, at least, you are trying to figure out. There is like you're trying to. The game, I guess, is you're trying to solve the mystery based on the clues that you can see or if you can follow it, which is which is I, fun. I, just, but I don't think it fits into a, a on, look, strict category, which is fine. Yeah, look, I, I I definitely think it's more of an activity. Yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. No, I mean no. it's a lot of fun at all. It's a ton of fun. I enjoy it, and and that that that's the thing. I mean, like the copy that I have, I think I paid thirty bucks for it, and I don't I don't regret it. We've mm. we've done we, we we've solved every every single crime, which is the only downside is that it is a, a legacy style. Of yeah, that. Like, like once if, you've solved it, even it even even though you don't mark anything, yeah, you you know it. It's yeah. like oh yeah, yeah I, I know where where this is now, mm. but you know it's thirty bucks. Yeah, you know we we got. We got our few hours of fun out of it, and yeah. I'd, I'd happily move it on to someone else. Yeah. Oh, no, um, I, I, I do rate it. And even, as you say, probably for the price, right? Yeah. You consider that you've got to pay 120 bucks to take the kids to the movies these days. Uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's certainly... I haven't played it with the kids yet. I would like to. Um, and it was fun to play it with the adults. We, as I said, we only got through the, the beginning missions, really. But... And you do need a well lit area for it. Yes, and as many a lot of shadows as, are not great no, for as, as many um, 
uh, magnifying glasses as possible. And as, as well. few drinks as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. right. A very dry surface. Yes. Uh, literally just a piece of paper. I will say that this game does remind me in a little sense of like the unlock games, which is yeah. the unlock games are a one and done 15 to $20 experience, one hour of like you're a cooperative, we're trying to escape the room, do the activities as such. Mm. Whereas, and you know, you can make the argument, well, is the unlock games, are they a board game? Well, they're an unlock escape room style game. It's like, well, maybe Where's Wally could be a style of game. This is a Where's yeah. Wally style of board game where it's actually, you know. Maybe it, we just need to call them box games or something. It know, comes in a box. Yeah. It is. Well, that's the thing because it, like, you know, they. Because but of, then board games come in a box. Yeah. I mean, look. <laughs> We're starting to get. We're getting. We're going down the rabbit hole. Anyway, point is, I quite enjoyed it. And if you yeah. see it on the shelf, I'd recommend it if you, if you look. There are for, a couple for, of other reimplementations of the game as well. Uh, no, so it's that, not not reimplementations. Actually, they're new versions, whole whole new maps. Sorry, sorry, that's cool. sorry, that's, uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, that should say. So that. I've got. I mean, the, the one I've got is a Full House. Full House. And the newest one, which only recently made it to Australia, all in, all in. That's it. Right. So and they're very much the same formula. Full House is a little more kid friendly. Um, there's there's less murderous murders. I don't know if that <laughs> murderous in, intent. Murderous. I don't know. Like the the intent is definitely there. Right. Okay. Um, but look, we with regards to the artwork, it is very much in that sort of Where's Wally style. Yeah. But black and white. The cool thing I love about it though is that it shows multiple aspects of time. Yeah. In in, in a city, single image. In a single image, and it's quite clever. Like yeah. the artwork is quite clever. Yeah. We haven't say. really explained that. Uh, to people who don't know the game, what actually happens here is, you know, you'll, because it's an isometric, you know, 3D view, you'll start in one area, you'll see the character, and then you'll move further left or right, and then you'll see another point of the same characters on. So you're hmm. basically, you're using the micro, the, the, the magnifying glass. You may spot the character that you need, but you may see him when he's, you know, he like he maybe for example, he wants to find where his lost hat went, right? Yeah. But you find him with his hat, and so mm. then you need to then follow him, like using between the magnifying glass, between the yeah. two points, to find where did he lose his hat and what happened, and then well, oh, and the, then the we, hard one, well, not hard one, but the one I, I, we spent the most time on was the subway one, where a guy just speed into the subway. We're like, well, where where does the subway come out? Because that's where he's got to come out. Yeah. And we spent a good ten minutes looking for this damn exit for the subway. It's right in front of us. It's there. I mean, everyone just you know got blinkers on. We can't see it at that point. But no, it, yeah, it's it's good fun. I'd recommend it as I said for a family buy. Yep. Um, off one of us, perhaps when we're reselling it. Sure. And and, and again, look, it it really is like, I I, th- I think the most expensive I've seen one of them is thirty five bucks Australian. Yeah. It's readily available. It's at Zing. Yeah. You know, it's it's. It's it's easy to get. It's good fun. It's it's a good one to bring out at Christmas, actually. When I was gonna say, know, it actually everyone's... has a bit of a wow factor with the size of the sheet. As yeah, well. like it's an interesting. I was piece. gonna say I don't know if it would work at Christmas because God, did I clear the table of all yeah. the Christmas stuff. Oh, no, no, but, need... <laughs> no the, the thing is, though, that that was the first time we Check played it with. Or well, actually, that I know of someone who did do that, yeah. and it became kind of like a centerpiece. Oh, that would actually be a really that would actually be a really cool idea. So, yeah. hey, we're all on, we're on case number one. We're looking for this. Let's go and have mm. everyone. That yeah. would actually be a really cool idea. Yeah. yeah. Or put it up on a wall and say, all right, this is the case, and there's a fishbowl. Right. When you know where the answer is, write your answer in the and put it in the fishbowl, and we're gonna go. All right. That would Who actually be right All right. Keep that in. Keep that in the ideas pool. We're doing that this year. Yeah. Really, let's do that this <laughs> yeah. year. That'd be good. But it it is a good one. All right, cool. All right, well, that was Micro Macro. Um, and-